Human beings are made up of millions of cells. Inside every cell lies a nucleus which holds 46 chromosomes. Our chromosomes carry genes which make us into human beings. Our chromosomes are numbered from chromosome 1 to 22, with chromosome 1 being the largest chromosome and chromosome 22 being the smallest. The last pair of chromosomes are the sex chromosomes, with boys having an X and a Y and girls having two X chromosomes. A reciprocal translocation occurs when two chromosomes swap a piece of chromosomal material. In this example, a piece of chromosomal material from chromosome 1 has swapped onto chromosome 2 and a piece of chromosome 2 has swapped back onto chromosome 1. This is known as a balanced chromosomal translocation because no chromosomal material has been lost or gained. Reciprocal translocations can occur between any two chromosomes. Most people with balanced reciprocal translocations are healthy. Families and family members are identified with balanced reciprocal translocations because of investigations following a family history of infertility, recurrent miscarriage, or the birth of a child with birth defects and or learning difficulties. In order to become a parent, you have to make a mature egg or sperm. Normally, each pair of chromosomes come together, exchange genetic material known as crossing over, and divide. Each parent only hands on half their chromosomes into the egg or sperm. Problems can arise for balanced translocation carriers during this process as four chromosomes have to pair up so that each chromosomal segment is sitting beside its partner chromosomal segment before crossing over and dividing. In this example, the two healthy chromosomes could be passed on and the child would be healthy. If the two balanced translocations are passed on, the child would be healthy, assuming the parent with the translocation was also healthy. However, there are other possibilities where an unbalanced version of the chromosomes could be handed on, resulting in a baby having too much of one chromosome and too little of the other. In this case, too much of chromosome 1 and missing a segment from chromosome 2. The opposite could also occur, resulting in too much of chromosome 2 and missing a segment from chromosome 1. In some translocations, other unbalanced possibilities can also occur. An individual family risk assessment is needed to work out what your translocation means for you. As a rule, the larger the imbalance, the more likely a miscarriage will result. The smaller the imbalance, the more likely a baby could be born with birth defects and learning difficulties. The majority are unique to each individual family. Your risk depends on the specific translocation that is present in your family. Your local genetics unit will help determine what your individual risk is.